interactive reconstruction and depth estimation has many uses in AR. Sharp depths and reconstructions allow for realistic occlusions, making the way for plausible immersion. However, the current state of the art for reconstruction is volumetric, using large memory allocations and 3D convolutions. This is not feasible on lightweight hardware, but on powerful hardware does not trivially allow for interactive low latency updates. The current state of the art models for depth estimation from video utilize either expensive 3D convolutions or complex mechanisms that are not transparent and require special implementation. We present Simple Recon, a method for accurate monocular depth prediction from video, utilizing a strong image encoder and our novel metadata for improved cost volume matching. Crucially, we use no 3D convolutions and instead opt to use simple tricks for reducing our cost volume and achieving sharp depths, exceeding the state of the art in depth estimation. We follow this with simple fast off-the-shelf depth fusion, matching the state of the art in 3D reconstruction. First, let's describe a multi-view stereo baseline. Following standard practice, we extract features from every frame and warp source features to every hypothesis depth plane in the current camera's view, where they can then be compared, and an estimate for depth made. We use seven source frames, warping each source view into a cost volume. We reduce the cost volume along with associated metadata to a single value per pixel per depth plane. The cost volume provides strong metric depth estimates at every pixel, but is very sparse and noisy. We pass the reduced cost volume to a unit, along with features from a separate image encoder to enforce a strong image prior. What we've just described produces a strong baseline already and exceeds the state of the art for depth estimation from video. However, our novel headline contribution is the introduction of metadata into the cost volume which pushes the state of the art further forward. But what is metadata? Aside from visual features, there is other freely available information which can be given to the network, but which has been previously ignored. This information is included at every pixel and depth plane. The first element of metadata we include is the hypothesis depth plane and the projected depth to each source view. We include the rays from each camera to every location in the volume, along with the angle between these rays. Depth and ray information aid matching, allowing for reasoning on how similar visual features are likely to be, depending on the geometric location they explain. We also include a mask on what a world point is behind the source camera, and implicitly encode out-of-bounds points by using a zero-border padding when sampling features. Some source cameras may be more informative than others, depending on the depth plane being scored. To that end, we also include information on the relative pose between each source camera and the current camera explicitly and implicitly by ordering source view channels by this post distance. We use an MLP to score each element in the cost volume, given its visual features and metadata. In this way, instead of using complex heuristics, we opt to have the network learn from the data on how best to score the cost volume elements given this extra information. Metadata provides a healthy boost in scores, with a highly parallelizable low computational cost approach, and the difference in cost volume quality can also be spotted visually often producing less noisy estimates, allowing for more accurate depths. We train our models end-to-end -end using a set of supervised losses. Please see the paper for more. We surpassed the state-of-the-art in monocular depth estimation from video. Our model's depths are far sharper and more temporally stable than the nearest competitor. We also achieved near state-of-the-art performance in 3D reconstruction on ScanNet v2, while remaining at a fraction of the latency cost for updates. Notably, our results are sharper than volumetric methods, all without 3D convolutions. We also show depth and reconstruction output on scenes captured using AR kit poses from an iPhone. As our method isn't bound by 3D supervised data, we can reconstruct geometry for room types that are not available in ScanNet v2, like this multi-floor house. Simple Recon can also be run offline, and there are many tricks to improve the reconstruction further, like using frames from the future for fuller cost volumes and better reconstructions. Please see the supplemental for more. We also improved the performance of a leading generic MVS model using metadata, showing the generic applicability of this novel idea. Our paper, code, and models are available online. Thanks for watching.